Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, animating a title in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've started to use titles in your video productions, then you know that they can be great ways to help people understand what's going on, maybe someone's name, a lower third, and thing of, things of that sort. But you want to add a little bit of spice to them. You want to make them look interesting. Build up a title from uh, nothing to something cool. It's actually not that difficult. I'll show you how to take an existing template inside Premiere Pro that has no animation and how to create an animation. Let's have a look. So here is a very simple title, one of the titles that actually comes with Premiere Pro, and I could just, you know, do a dissolve on, but I actually want to make this a bit interesting. I want to build up each one of these lines of text and then dissolve the background. So I'm going to do that over here. And to do that, I'm going to duplicate and create three new versions of this particular title. And that's the title right now. When I open it up, you can see I'm, I'm already using it as a static title over here. So, right click and duplicate that. There it is once, twice, and I probably should set a keyboard shortcut for duplicating. So the way that I'm going to think about this is three will be the bottom, two will be the next one, and one will be on top. So I'll drag three over here to a track, two above that, and if there is not a track already created, Premiere Pro will create a new track. So now I have three duplicates. I'm going to double click on the top one and open up the title designer. And this is not a, a, a dialog box, so I could actually just leave it open and leave it over there. So the top one will have that text. So I'm going to click on the background and just type the delete key and delete the text out of here. Double click on the bottom one, sorry, the middle one, get rid of the background and get rid of the top text. Double click on the bottom one, get rid of the text, and now I have all three. So here they are. That's the top, middle, bottom. If you have this little eyeball on and you have this over here, it can be very confusing when you're looking at all of that stuff. So I tend to turn that off when I'm building these titles up. So here's my title and it comes on just like that title. I want to animate all three elements. So I'm going to go to a point, just hit my plus key on the top of my keyboard to zoom in a bit, and this is where I want the title to be readable at this point. I'm going to click on the top, go to the effects controls, and make sure that this is twirled out, this little triangle, to add my animation. I'm going to twirl down the motion, and then click on the stopwatch for position, scale, and rotation. Just as a, uh, a habit, I have to have all three of those set. So at this point in the timeline, right there, that's where those keyframes are aligned. I'll go to the beginning of that, and as soon as I make a change on the left, like clicking and dragging over here, I can drag that and instantly make a keyframe. I actually want to drag on this one and move the type out of the frame. So now when the video plays, you can see the text will come into position. I'm going to go back over to where I was before, and if you hold the shift key down when you move this, you'll jump right to the same keyframe. Now this is a separate title, so we don't have any keyframes in here. Each one of these keyframes exists for a different title. So I'll have to do the same thing. Twirl that down, position, scale, and again, I just do rotation as a matter of habit. Move this over here, and this time we want the word New York to come up from the bottom. So what does our animation look like? That so far, all right? Again, I'll hold shift and go back to the middle. This time I'll select the bottom and change the opacity. So at this point, I want the opacity to be 100%, and the opacity already has it selected. So I'll select this twice to create a keyframe at 100%, move this back to here, and click and drag over top and change that to zero. So now it comes up from zero to 100%. So now let's watch our animated title.
Now it just falls off on the end and I could animate this out by reversing the keyframes and doing all of that, but I'm just going to do a simple dissolve. I'll do that by selecting all of these and then click on the outside edge and you'll see there's a trim on the edge. My default transition is the dissolve. So I'll hold down the control key on Windows, command on Mac and hit D, C command D or control D. Now I can dissolve out. Let's watch that back at full screen. There's our title. Hold for a moment and then dissolve out. Wow, there you go. Take a built-in template, deconstruct it into its different parts, couple of keyframes, bada boom, now you've got an animated title. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, please click on the subscribe button below for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.